Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I train my puppy or how I'm going to be training my puppy to walk right next to me. Now I am a walker. I've been walking for, shoot, since 2014. I had another dog used to walk with me for many, many years. She passed away in February. Today, I have a puppy, the newest member of the family, and his name is Kit. And today, we're gonna learn how to walk. That's right. How to walk on the leash and learn a few basic commands and each time we do this, we're gonna do a little bit more and more and more. When I train my other dog to do what I'm getting ready to do now, I actually had cones. Yeah. Down the road, I will eventually get cones, but right now we're gonna to have to use shepherd hooks. Let me get them hooked up, or let me get them in the ground, and I'll show you how I'm doing this. It's many different steps you gotta take, or you wanna do with your puppy, or grown up dog, to teach them to walk on the leash and keep them next to you at all times. Many different stages of this. And we're gonna start the easiest one now. Okay, as you can see, I have, come on kid. <laughs> I have five shepherd hooks, and this is what I gotta use until I can actually get cones. Now I have four of them. I actually wish I had five. And what I'm going to be doing is walking and zigzagging in between the cones. And as I'm walking, I'm going to have Kit here right next to me. And every time he tries to pull away, I'm going to use the command I used with my other dog to me. As I kind of nudge him back. And then when he does it right, then I give him a treat. Now, most of my videos are done basically here in front of my house. Especially until at least for another six days until he gets the rest of his shots and he's allowed to go in other places. This is not a bad place to train your dog at because I live on a busy, busy, busy road. And he's here in trucks, cars, motorcycles. Sometimes people go up and down the roads and there's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot, lot of things that takes his attention away, which is good when I train him. Unlike my other dog, I would take her somewhere where there was no people to train her. I'm doing different with him because I want him to learn all the sounds. I want him, no matter where we're at, whenever I give a command, either it be to me, sit, heal. I don't really use heal much. Usually I use heal when I take off. You know, I know that sounds backwards, but that's kind of what I do with my other dog. You know what? Let's get started and I'll show you what I'm doing. Then I'm going to do many rep many repetitions. Learn to speak, Mike. Amateur videos, right? I'm going to do it, show you what I'm doing. Then I'm going to do it many times on my own without the camera. Then we come back. And then I'll tell you how Kit has been doing. You're tired, aren't you? I read somewhere when a puppy or a dog is tired and you teach them, you train them, they seem to learn better. Well, we're fixing to find out, isn't we? All right, ready, Kit? Oh, I don't know how this is going to go. Come on. Up. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Okay, we're going to zigzag to me. To me. Zigzag through that one. Not bad so far. Zigzag through this one. Not too bad. Up to me. To me. To me. Then we totally turn around. Okay. And then I give the command. Let me get a gibble. Hold on, kid. Got to dig it out of my pocket. Sit. Sit. He's really tired. Can you tell? Kid, sit, baby. Sit. Well, you do. You did good. You don't have to sit for daddy. Well, the first time out, I think you'd do better if I was off the camera. It's really hard to train a dog while you're on the camera. So, guys, I'm going to do this about maybe 10 more times. I'm not going to overdo him because this is going to be done on an everyday basis. And I'll tell you why it's so important, if I don't forget why I'm teaching my puppy now to walk on a leash, walk next to me. So let me get about 10, maybe a few more repetitions. That's the word I was thinking of. Then I'll be back. I'm thinking when he's a little bit more awake, try it. I only did it five times. I will be doing this again later on today if it doesn't rain or storm. And I'll be doing this pretty much every day. 
Now, when I do train him, it's in short periods because he still is a puppy. I want to play with him more than I train with him. And I don't know if you could tell it or not, but he definitely has grown a little bit. Yes, and he's eating the sticks on the on the deck here. Yeah, you know that's not yummy, right? <laughs> you know that does not taste good. Do you see Daddy out here eating these sticks? Why is you eating them? I should get that out of your mouth. Come here. We'll get that out of your mouth, okay? Oh, if I could find it. Oh, come here, puppy. Come here. Kid, come on, honey. Come on. Sit down, okay? Yeah. He's actually been doing really well, guys. Uh, he's only peed in the house twice. And this morning, he pooed in the house. But that's not his fault, my fault, or nobody else's fault. I had to blame that on a garbage truck. I had him out here and I kind of thought he would have to poo and he smelled my pockets that's where I keep his gibble that's the treats I train him with well some of one pockets full of dog food the other's pockets full of the the actual treats so I don't want him filling up he's scratching look he's scratching down there no you can't get him that's that's your dog food I don't want you filling up on the other treats. That's why I'm giving you dog food as well. But anyway, try not to get off the subject here. Let me get up. When I came out to try to get him to go poo, a garbage truck was picking up the garbage, which was late today. They usually don't pick it up this time. He used to pick it up through the night, and he was not having it. Oh, heck no. He was not having it. He got scared, so we went inside. And as soon as we got inside, I had to use the bathroom and he pooed he pooed not his fault not anybody else's fault i blame it on a darn garbage truck now there are some things he is not having it garbage trucks one of them and trains <clears throat> is another one uh for some reason he doesn't like the sound of trains well stormy and my other dog didn't either but that's kind of comical in a way well not really comical because i love train sounds the older he gets, he'll get used to them, probably, we hope. Because where I live, we have train sounds. So I'm going to leave these shepherd hooks, which I do zigzag through, up at least until, well, at least through the rest of the day. And the reason I have to pull them up, because at nighttime when I take Kit out, if I come out here at night to take Kit, they're, they're completely, you know, I'm going to run into them. At least till I get me some cones. Let me tell you why it's so dang important to do what I'm doing. I'm a walker, folks. And when I do the walking thing, he's going to be with me. And as soon as I get the rest of the shots, I'm going to actually walk him a little bit. I might do a couple laps with him. Not a lot. Not anything that's going to wear him out. But give him a taste of what he's in for in the future. Now, the other thing I'm going to be teaching him is... And we see if I can kind of do it now. Believe me, he's not having any of the training right now. But we're going to try it, okay? Let me show you. Kit will always be on my left side because that's the way I walk. So when we walk, come on, Kit. Come on, Kit. Come on. I walk a little bit, then I stop. Well, as you see, he's not standing next to me. But that's one of the things I'm going to train him. When I stop, he stops and he sits. Ain't that right, buddy? That's right. You're just a puppy. I understand, but daddy's got to get you trained to do this if you're going to be with daddy. If you're going to ever do my walks with me or a hike. Nah, just let me alone, dad. I want to go inside and go night-night. And not to mention, it's very humid out here. You can probably see the sweat on my bald head. But he has come out of his shell even more. He's playing fetch with me very well. He's playing tug-of-war with me. As a matter of fact, he kind of nipped my finger the other day. I think I mentioned that in the last video. He's he's just, oh man. Yesterday, we had to go for a long car ride. As my son, my oldest son, put in for a tattoo, which he'll be getting at tomorrow. And I won't be filming the tattoo, but I may be filming where we got to go get the tattoo, which is over in Kentucky. Now, I may be filming, hello, neighbor. <laughs> they know what I do. Everybody on this block, I think, knows what I do video and at least some of them do but anyway yesterday we had to go to kentucky so we could set up for the appointment and it was pouring down the rain oh my god i got a kid outside to use the potty 
almost says stormy. <sighs> but I got a kid outside to use the potty and the rain started pouring down again. We got soaking wet. Couldn't take them in a tattoo shop. So we had a, you know, while my son was in there setting up the appointment, we waited in the, uh, in my car for him. My car that I call the Defiant. You ever want to know why I call it the Defiant? It's real simple. I'm a Star Trek fan. Deep Space Nine, the spaceship they used the most was the Defiant. That's why I call my car Defiant. I don't have my keys on me. My lanyard is even Star Trek. I have all kinds of Star Trek stuff. But anyway, we got to go back over there again tomorrow because that's when he's getting his tattoo. I will show the tattoo on his arm when he gets done. But we're going to see how Kit does over there. And we're also going to see a friend of ours. A friend I've known for a teeny bit over 30 years. And a friend my wife has known all her life. Kit got to meet our friend Becky yesterday, but since it was pouring down the rain, it wasn't that much of a meet and greet. Now, we're supposed to have thunderstorms tomorrow, but the chances of them are 55%. Hopefully, tomorrow, we will be able to have some dry time, and we can walk a little bit through their neighborhood, just a teeny bit, and maybe get some video footage of Kit over there. Yeah, that blew off that limb did there, Kit. All right. You want to say hi to everybody on YouTube real quick? For Daddy Takes You In? Come here, honey. He's not having it right now, guys. He's tired. He's put off. <laughs> He's not having it. I got to untangle him real quick. So I better get him inside. Sorry about the short video, but I will be doing another one tomorrow. And you will see it in about, well, uh, two days or so. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to take them on inside, and what are you chewing on? Oh, that wasn't you chewing on anything. It's just a car coming out of the driveway. Take them inside, and guys, that's how I do the walking thing. The more and more I train Kit, the more and more I will have a video on it. And yes, since Kit is part of my life, and right now all my time is dedicated to him right now, because he needs trained and everything else and he's still a puppy he's gonna be in a lot of videos a lot of them and even after he gets older he's still gonna be in the videos because he's gonna be my fishing partner my walking partner my hiking partner my everyday companion that's right and by the way what i'm doing right now will help him go through the stores when i walk him through the stores we did go into walmart yesterday I carried him for a little bit, then I let him walk in the fort a little bit, then I carried him above. Yeah, he's getting heavy. Like I say, he's getting bigger. All right, guys, leave your comments down below if you have any, and we'll see you in about a day or so, okay? To my next video should be our trip over to Kentucky to get my son a tattoo, and I'd get as much footage as I can. Until next time, come on. Let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. Kids going to go in and take a nap. I would almost guarantee it.